Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Sacred Serve. This says plant-based superfoods. It's non-dairy gelato is what it is. So I have the cookies and cream, the salted caramel, the chocolate. A uh, saffron chai latte and a matcha mint chip. These were $6.99 each at Whole Foods. So um, not cheap. But How we much? six ninety nine mm -hmm. seven bucks. Yeah, but we, we did buy them at Whole Foods. Yeah, so, we've had stuff that much before. So. Um, so I will tell you when I I, I took these out of the freezer uh, to review, and it's hard as a brick. I mean, like hard, hard, hard as a brick. So I let them sit for probably fifteen minutes, and I went over to them, and they were still hard as a brick. Now it's been like 20, 20 minutes or so. It still feels very, yeah, still very, very big. hard to make. They're a little soft. You can push them in at least now. <laughs> so just know that it's hard. But this is a, a cookies and cream. It, um, it says tiger nut. Tiger nut cookies and cream. Uh, made with young coconut. Our mm. young Thai coconut meat is packed with fiber, potassium, electrolytes, MCTs, and contains half the calories and fat of coconut milk. Um, be, uh, vegan, no refined sugar, dairy-free, uh, paleo-friendly, gluten-free, soy-free. Uh, it's free of everything. So, yeah, <laughs> sacredserve.com. It says there's three and a half servings per container. A half a cup, 94 grams, is 100 calories. So about 350 for the whole thing. And these are made in Chicago, Illinois. The first ingredient is filtered water. That makes sense why it was so hard then. Yeah. So it's frozen water. And these are sealed. So here we go. It's not a color I was expecting from cookies and cream. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. It's not kind of coffee colored. Yeah, this is supposed to be cookies and cream. Interesting. Okay. I want to get that lid in there. I'm glad they're sealed though, because I wouldn't have bought them otherwise. Now, keep in mind, 20 to 25 minutes, these have been laying out of the freezer, so. They look kind of icy. Yes, well, I mean, it's frozen water. I mean, that's what they, the texture looks like. I don't know, there's not really much to see except brown. So, cookies Kind of the color of uh, mud or clay or something. I actually don't mind the, the texture. It's kind of got that gritty kind of texture. I'd like to see the ingredients. I'd like to see what I'm eating here. Because I don't I don't care for that. Uh, filtered water, young Thai coconut meat, uh, coconut sugar, co co cacao butter, um, tiger fruit flour, cacao powder, vanilla extract, avocado oil, uh, Madagascar vanilla bean and Himalayan pink salt and citrus fiber. I don't know what it is. I know I don't. It's very, very um, fiber, like um, gritty. Gritty. Yeah, I do not like the texture. Well, at first I thought it was okay texture wise because I mm -hmm. thought it was kind of sugary. I mean, uh, icy texture, but it's not. It's like a fibery grit. I'm going to take another bite because, you know, that's. I'm going to make sure. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Yeah, I think you're getting little pieces of coconut. Like really finely ground coconut. I just don't like the flavor. It, it's definitely not cookies and cream. No. It's no. Nowhere near, I mean, not even close to cookies and cream. No. I, I, why, why would they put that on there? I mean, that's a complete and total lie. Not cookies, not cream. There's no cookies or cream in there. That's, I mean, literally, that's a blatant lie. It seems like they could get sued over that. I'm not kidding. I guess because, it's not hurting you. Then. Because there's no cookies and no cream in there. Yeah. Um, they even need gluten-free cookies. It is <laughs> a blatant, no, it is a an utter and complete lie. Yeah. No, it's just got flavoring in there. Mm -hmm. It does have little brown things in it. Mm-hmm, there's brown things in it. I don't know what, it are, what they are. I, I don't like it. I don't like the texture. I don't like the flavor. Ooh. So, 
Don't get those little brown bits, whatever they are. I think I got the brown bits first time. Because they're really, time. really gr uh, gritty. Uh-huh, yes. I got some of those the first bite I took. And it's like, no, this texture is not good. Yeah. And like I said, at first I thought it was going to be an icy grip. But then once you actually start eating it, it's like, no, it's just got stuff all through it. Like, mm -hmm. you're, like you're drinking small water. <laughs> this is coconut salted caramel. So and, hopefully this will be better. And it could be a little piece of coconut, like I said, but they've made it so finely ground that it, you, you identify it as coconut. It just feels like stuff in your mouth. Uh huh. Um, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't mm -hmm. have a good mouth feel. Yeah. Um, three and a half servings, a half a cup is 100 calories. So the same thing. Yeah, and this is the, um, this is the salt, coconut salted caramel. Okay, this one says, let's sit for 15 minutes for best taste and texture. Guess what? That is nowhere on the outside. So if you've gone to the freezer and you're looking forward to eating that right then, well, you don't get those instructions until you're ready to, you sit down on the couch, you've turned on and just like that on TV and you're gonna watch it and this is solid. So they need to put that on the outside. They do. Maybe that was an afterthought. That's odd. Okay, that's just where it's filled up. Yeah, maybe that's an afterthought. They they found out later. Oh, people want to actually eat this right away. Oh, you and think? And so instead of putting it um, on the container, which were already printed up, they may put it on the lids. Okay, here we go. Well, that one, the first one didn't have anything on it. Right. That's what I'm saying. Maybe they changed it. Um, there's not. This is the exact same color as the first one. There's nothing. Yeah. Other. This one just doesn't have those little brown bits in it. Right, and this and it's is a little lighter. Salted caramel. That one tastes worse than the first one. It has a funky flavor. I do not like the texture. It's um. I can go over the texture. I don't like that flavor. The texture is not as bad as the first one because the first one had a lot of, like Kevin keeps saying, bits in it. It literally. This doesn't have the bits, but it's not creamy. It's not smooth, so it feels like. No, it's still gritty. It yeah, it, it feels like um. It's like got bits in it. like there's like some chunkiness to yeah. it. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right in the flavor. Um. I see where they were going with the caramel. I can see, yeah, the yeah. aftertaste, especially now that it's settled, is kind of caramel -like. You see, you think it's worse. I would rather eat that one than the first one. I did not like the texture of the first one at all. I didn't either. The second one, I could deal with the texture, but the, I don't like the flavor. See, I could deal with the flavor on the second one, but I don't know why anyone would ever choose that. I mean, I wouldn't choose it. There's too many, other, <coughs> too many other choices. Just the fact that in, somewhere in the description you said fibrous coconut or something like that. This one. Um, you um, you shouldn't have fibrous ice cream. Uh, this one is chaga, chaga chocolate. I don't know what chaga chocolate is. We're we're gonna try it. We're just going for it. We're going for it. It's uh yeah filtered water, young Thai coconut meat, coconut sugar, cacao powder, seventy percent dark chocolate, hmm. cacao butter. Uh, chaga mushroom, oh, okay. Himalayan pink salt, and citrus fiber. Um, organic. Okay. I love a fibrous ice cream. <laughs> well, it's not ice cream. This one is a different a, a color. A frozen dessert. This one is a different color. It does look like chocolate. Yeah, it's, it definitely looks like chocolate. Okay. It's a darker one. So that's a, that chaga is a mushroom. Hmm. You like mushrooms. I like mushrooms on a steak or something. <laughs> Not in a frozen dessert. Okay. That's smoother texture wise. It's got an aftertaste too. No. Nope. It's um <laughs> it's very bitter. Yeah, very, very dark. Um it's very dark, very bitter. I mean like it's not the darkest, of course. No. But it is very dark. Um it, and, and there's a funky aftertaste. There's a bite to it. It um yeah, I, I yeah, it's too dark for me to enjoy. Yeah. I like the texture of it better though. 
Because it doesn't um, feel like the little chunks are in there. Yes, that is the best texture so far. Yeah, it actually feels somewhat smooth like an ice cream would. Mm -hmm. Notice I didn't take another bite though. It's so <laughs> dark. You don't need to. No. You don't need you to. You can judge it based on one bite. Yeah, you, you, you absolutely can because it's so dark and so bitter. I still have the flavor in my mouth. Mm -hmm. I don't need to go for another bite to get that. It's not going gonna, not gonna to change. <laughs> this is the saffron chai latte, and this one is only 80 calories yeah. for half a cup. Yeah, see, this one says what it said. Okay, these, I don't know how good these scoops are going to work with these. Oh, there we go. Okay. Just got to be careful not to flick it. I know, I don't want to flick it. We're back to brown again. That's literally, they're all the same color. Not eat brown. Oh, ginger. Ginger. I'd say it's a saffron. Tastes like a little bit of a honey in there, too. Oh, ooh. It, yeah, it's not very great. I can't read it. It's too small. Ooh. Um, hmm. Cinnamon cardamom. That could be what's coming. I think that's like what. I think that's flavor. the cinnamon cardamom mixture. It has a, a very strong flavor like a ginger. Oh, However, right. there's no burn. No. I don't get any burn at all. And it's slightly different than ginger. It is, but the aggressiveness of it, yeah, of the strong. cinnamon and cardamom, it's so aggressive that it reminds you of ginger because ginger's a very aggressive, strong flavor. Mm -hmm. So it reminds you of that, but then there's no burn. Right. So Does it have honey in it? It has a cinnamon cardamom, pink Himalayan salt, Afghan saffron, rose water, rose mm. water. Maybe it's rose water. citrus fiber. You know, it could be a combination of the rose water. It's getting water. a little honey like. Well, you think about it, honey. Rose is, water, cardamom, and yeah. cinnamon. It's, I could eat it if I oh, had no. to, but boy, no, is no, it aggressively no. strong. No. Not something I want in a frozen dessert. A no. Gelato. No, for me, that's I, the worst one. So I want far. sweet. What's the worst one so far for you? Flavor wise, probably that one. That one, I'm telling you, it, it will hit you in the mouth. Oh, okay. The other ones weren't necessarily a flavor thing, it was more of a texture thing. So that one, I, I didn't get that fibrous kind of texture in it. Either. No, I didn't either, but I hate that flavor. Hate it. Uh, matcha mint chip. Um, this one is 90 calories for half a cup. No, I wonder, some of them had the 15 minutes, some of them didn't. I wonder if some of them were older, yeah, just older lids than the other one. Not that the, there's anything wrong with the gelato. Um, okay. Brown again. It's kind of a green tint, but not. Um, I could see that. It's got a, a tinting in there a little bit. Oh, this looks like it actually has like chocolate chips in it. It's probably cacao. Beans. This might be the best one here. Well, it looks chunky again. The little chocolate bits, whatever. Mm hmm um, they're crunchy, but they've made them small enough to where they're not like a mouthful of crunch. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. I don't actually mind the mint too much either. I don't either. It is more of a toothpaste mint. It's a very, very like, you're not going to want to eat much of that because it's so strong. Mm -hmm. um, Flavor-wise, I think I like that better than any of them. Here. I do too. This is my favorite one. Mm -hmm. I think it still has that chunky texture of the first ones. It does. But I got what, a little bit of that coconut pieces in my teeth. But what saves it is those little chocolate pieces. Yeah, that so they, it feels like it's supposed to be there. Yes. So yeah, it's like it's intended. That it tricked your mind to be like, okay, I'm eating these chocolate pieces. So it's and supposed so to be chunky. It's supposed to be chunky. It's okay. But you look at this and it's like, oh, that's nice and smooth. And then you get all this little particles floating around in your mouth. Um, Particulates. <laughs> this, uh, the mint does taste like, it is on the toothpaste side. I don't mind the mint. So would I ever choose any of these? I Absolutely not. No, I would but, never eat this again. But to be honest, we're not vegan or gluten-free or dairy-free. I we don't, don't care if you are. There's there's too many other choices out these That's days. True. 
The, the grocery store is full of choices. We've had a lot of them. That are really good? That are really, really good. And this is, this, no, yeah. I wouldn't. Um, well, I mean, it, Graders has dairy free. I mean, you know. <laughs> um, the only one that I would, if, if you put my feet to the fire and made me pick one, I would pick the mint. I would too. Uh, but that is the only one I would pick. Yeah, and I one. hate, this is like. That saffron one. This uh, saffron chai latte. I don't know who's eating that. I forgot who's it was, buying that. I forgot it was latte. I didn't get any of the coffee like flavor. Uh, uh, no, I, I just don't know. I, I don't know who. I can't imagine with all the choices out there. Why would you? Why? I don't, why would you? Some people might like that texture and, and stuff. I can't imagine. Um, yeah, I can't imagine. Uh, and I would not. I wouldn't even be tempted to. You know, I'm a. We are ice cream, and and even though it's it's non dairy gelato, we we uh, love gelatos, mm -hmm. and and I, I wouldn't gelato. I wouldn't be tempted. Like even though I'm saying I would choose the mint. I really wouldn't want any more because mm -hmm. that is so strong that you're not going to want to eat the whole thing. It's just not a brand for us. No, it's not. I'm, I'm just passing on all of them. So, uh, I will have pictures for you at the end. If you've ever tried any of them, you can let us know your thoughts. And thanks for watching.